Hey, what's going on, guys? So today, uh, NVIDIA DLSS just came out for Unreal Engine 5. Now, if you want to grab it, go ahead and go to the developer.nvidia.com. And if you go to platforms and click on DLSS, if you have an account, go ahead and register, and you can actually download this now. Now, I've been waiting for this, but thankfully, it didn't take too long, maybe two weeks since UE5 release, so it's not pretty. Uh, it's not bad at all. And if you don't know what DLSS is, go ahead and check this out, but it's pretty much a super scaling kind of technology, AI technology uh, from NVIDIA in Unreal Engine 5 and 4.26, as you can see here. So to install it, go ahead and download it. And all you have to do is copy and paste and extract whatever you download to your Epic Games engine, and then go to plugins and go to marketplace. If you don't have marketplace on your Unreal Engine 5, just create a folder and then copy and paste that folder there. After that, go to your project and it's gonna be under the plugin section and just type in DLSS. Enable that, and we're good to go. Now, we're going to go back to this uh, ArchVis video or map that I made from Divis. Uh, I made a video about this a couple of days ago, and I was not able to use the high-resolution uh, settings in this map. Now, if you don't know, if you haven't seen the previous video I did on this map, go ahead and check it out because Divis at Divis, D-V-I-Z, did a really good job creating this little small map right here, small ArchVis. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. I have the FPS up here, but this is for the actual editor. So what we'll do, and I have it off right now. So there's two ways to enable DLSS. The first one is you actually have to enable it for your editor. And if you go right here, the LSS setting, I have it set to off. Okay, and I'm going to go to quality right now. And I'm going to click in. You see that we're about 46 frames per second now. And you can mess around with the settings on which one you want. And then we'll go with ultra performance. And as you can see, the quality does get pretty bad. But depending on, you know, how you look at it, I guess. But you do get some FPS boost whenever you have this turned on at ultra performance. So go back to the LSS and we'll turn it off so you can kind of see. Now, this is only affecting the editor here. Okay, so you can see we dropped down to like 38. Uh, what we're going to do next is actually have this play. I'm going to play through. But before we do that, I'm going to open up the Blueprint and set it up to turn it on because to turn it on and use it in actual play here, we're going to have to use the set DLSS mode here. So for now, we'll I guess we'll do off so you can see what that looks like, and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to press play here, and it's this setting right here that I was talking about. I was not able to use high resolution uh, in my previous video, but let's see what happens here. And I mean, I could, but the FPS was really low. So I'm going to press F12, and as you can see, I'm getting 25, 26 frames per second. Now, a lot of y'all will probably say this is not usable, and I definitely agree. So this is without DLSS. As you can see, I'm at 18. And I am also recording with NVIDIA Shadow Play. So take that into account. So I exit out of that. I'm getting about 50 MS, which is not good. So let's go ahead and mess around with the DLSS settings here. So open level blueprint. Now we'll set it to quality, which I think is the perfect, perfect setting for DLSS, in my opinion. And let's plus play. High resolution and press start. Okay. All right. So the FPS didn't show up. So let's go ahead and redo that. Sometimes it does that. But hey, 5.0 is still beta. So press play again. Resolution high. Start. And there you go. And press F11. And as you can see, just like that, we got 18, 19 MS, 40 frames per second using the balance, 38, 37, when earlier we were getting 17 about right here. So this definitely right here is usable, I think. Um, I mean, the settings is on high, and I was not able to showcase this earlier in my first video, but now I can. So this is pretty cool. You can get about 40 frames per second, 43. And uh, let's go open this window here. Now that dropped to like 29, 30 whenever I was moving there. But overall, this is a lot better. Now this is extreme example here, obviously. It's pretty high. And once I move over here, wow, we're actually getting like 60 frames per second, 57. So that is definitely good. 
<laughs> man, DLSS helps me so much. I mean, I'm gonna do some meta humans as well because, as you all know, meta humans that's pretty hard on your hardware. So with DLSS, I have to use DLSS sometimes when I have like two or three meta humans in a scene. But as you can see, we're getting pretty good FPS here inside. Yeah, 74, and this is balance settings. Right, so let's exit out of this, and what we'll do is actually switch over to Ultra Performance. So we'll go right here, Ultra Performance, and let's see how much FPS we can get with that. Press play, and set the high resolution again. Okay, so it's not in there again, so let's just play it back again. Sometimes you just have to do it twice. That's okay. All right, so right here, we're getting about... 69 almost 70 about 14 ms and let's move on kind of like to the same area now depending on how picky you are i mean i'm not sure if you can tell the actual image degradation or you know it got a little bit crappier but some of you guys actually out there doesn't don't actually mind this i mean it still looks good right so if, if this looks good for you, I mean, you can use Ultra Performance and get a lot of uh, FPS back. So let's do the same thing here. Open it back up. Now, the sound is a little bit late, but that's okay. And there you go. It dropped to like 29 whenever the door opened. So yeah, let's walk back in. And this is Ultra Performance. Yeah, we're getting like 80s FPS is here. This is good. Oh man, I'm so glad they finally released this. Now I'm hoping this would actually go in the marketplace. I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but if you want to download it, just go to that website and install it the same way I just showed you. So we'll check out the bedrooms. Turn here. And like I said, it's pretty extreme here. I mean, we're maxing it out. You know. So that's that, and there's the bedroom right here. Yeah, I was definitely not able to run this without DLSS. It was just not going to happen. Yeah. Hopefully, bitrate don't kill this video. So let's go back out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to be testing DLSS out on a couple of more maps. But I wanted to start with this one because this is my most recent one. I'm going to be doing it on the medieval, some meta humans, and of course, we're going to be doing it on some Maui maps. All right, if y'all have any questions, let me know, and I'll see y'all later.